Third time's a charm for Trevor Maddich of ESPN joining us on a Maddich Monday, a bowl edition. Trevor, we've uh, we've put it out there so that everyone has been able to marinate for quite a while on what it would mean for BYU to get to <laughs> nine wins. For you, what would getting a ninth win for the BYU Cougars mean to this 2014 season? Well, it would mean they finished the season winning five in a row, including a very good team in a bowl game, a, a conference co-champion. And that's important because that, that stretch in October where they went 0-4 when – Taysom Hill got hurt. That was a horrible stretch. I mean, horrible. I mean, no wins to give any kind of breath of fresh air. The next thing you know, they win four in a row. And if they can wrap up with this one, then there's no reason for them to think that they can't go into this offseason with all the hopes going into next year flying high. We've had a fun time, Trevor, in Miami. You played in the NFL, been to Miami a bunch in your time, I'm sure. What was your favorite Miami activity? My favorite Miami activity was beating the Miami Dolphins, by the way. <laughs> Listen, I've been to South Beach, and it, it's like way above my pay grade, way above my pay grade. You know, we used to go to, to the Holiday Bowl in San Diego, and it was pretty wholesome, a lot of families. South Beach, you have a lot of very, very, very advanced, rich, hot people and I'm thinking that you two guys fit right in. They probably think you guys flew over from <laughs> nice. Calais or something like that, from Con, you know, from hobnobbing with George Clooney and Angelina Jolie. That's probably the crowd you're hanging out with. But I'll tell you what, that's an awesome place that you're in right now. Spencer's the king of hobnobbing, so that fits in wow. perfectly. And we well, no, the thing is, he doesn't hobnob. He just sits there and let, lets the stars come hobnob with him. That's, that's the great <laughs> position to be in. That is. Hey, I'm so glad that we got you on today, Trevor. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm going to get you in a lot of trouble now. before we're done. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Bring it on. Joining us now, Trevor Mattis of ESPN College Football Expert, Insider, and Analyst. Trevor, let's talk about the bowl game experience for you. Do you have a, a most memorable bowl game memory? Before we get back into Cougars and, and, and Memphis, let's ask you about your favorite bowl game memory. Well, the, all the Holiday Bowls, all four of them were fantastic. I mean, we won the national championship on the last one my senior year, and it was surreal because the, the confetti was in the air and, and the final gun had sounded on the season and we knew that we would be ranked number one. And it was like, it was like a dream. It was like it hadn't happened. And everybody sought out their teammates. The first guys I sought out after that national championship Holiday Bowl win against Michigan was the guys on the scout team. The guys that were on the practice squad that, that we practiced against, and they knew us really well. And the guys that practiced against me knew every weakness that I had, and they hammered those weaknesses home every day in practice. And it was really hard, I mean really hard, because they knew what to do, that, that it was hard for me to deal with, and they made me better at it. Those were the first guys that I went to, and I told them that that national championship was every bit as much theirs as it was those who started and played the game because they were indispensable to that win. And I think the aftermath of that Holiday Bowl and just acknowledging that and just knowing that is a really humbling thing. It is a team effort. Today about 24 BYU Cougars will suit up for the final time. What was that like when you played your final game dealing with the emotions of the end there? It was weird. It was just really strange because it was the end. And it wasn't just the end of of BYU football, which had been my entire focus of my entire life as a, as a young man, not really knowing anything more uh, than that, you know, for the last four years, you know, and then mission in between. And I knew that I was heading off into the NFL after that, into the great unknown. And so on the one hand, this, this warm mother's milk of, of this awesome thing that defined me as a human being, which was playing football for BYU at the time, was over now. Now I had to go somewhere else and redefine myself. I had to learn who I was in a different context, in a much more brutal and unforgiving context, and that is a rookie in the NFL. And I knew it was in front of me, but I had no idea what to expect. So on the one hand, it was, it was nostalgia. On the other hand, it was really not scary, but there was a little bit of trepidation because I knew that the, the waters ahead would, would be a lot more turbulent than the waters that I would be stepping out of. Trevor Maddich with us on BYU Sports Nation. Trevor, uh, let's go ahead and finish with this. What can BYU prove not only to BYU Sports Nation, but to the nation today on the field against Memphis? 
Well, BYU can prove that, that they are the BYU of Taysom Hill. They can prove that they're the BYU of September, that the nation looked at as a team that had a chance to bust into the New Year's Six Bowls and possibly, maybe, with a lot of help, make it into the playoff. And that team went away when Taysom got hurt and they lost four in a row. Well, this game would give them four in a row to end the season. And it would put BYU back on the map as a team to keep an eye on. Not a team that's a contender right now, but a team that's no longer lost in the shadows of the, of the muddle of everybody else. It's now a team that you can look at nationally and say, okay, let's look at BYU again. And if they win this game, then that eyeball will be cast on the Cougars as we head into next season. And, that, and that's important because a lot of it does come down to where BYU is right now. A lot of it comes down to how quickly – they get recognized next year in terms of how high they're ranked heading into the season to begin with. Trevor Maddich of ESPN College Football Insider with us. Trevor, always great to talk to you on this Trevor Maddich Monday bowl game edition of BYU Sports Nation. Anytime you want to come hobnob in Miami, let, <laughs> let's make it happen. I'll just tell them you guys sent me, and I will say this for the fans, watch the BYU receivers in this game. That is where BYU will have the edge. And if BYU's receivers dominate in a way that Memphis cannot, that's where BYU has the best chance to win because Memphis is tough in the trenches. Trevor Maddich with us on BYU Sports Station. Trevor, we'll talk to you soon. All right, guys.